This is Paul. Earlier today, Paul went to Taco Bell and ate 12 burritos. Now, he has to go to the bathroom. When he got home, he found that there were 12 locks on his bathroom door. And it's my job to unlock every single one. Open the door. If I don't, Paul will have to poop on the floor. Paul, stay put. Nobody will be taking a number two on the floor today. We will be getting to the bottom of this. Okay, so I just picked up a remote. I can use the remote on the television, right? And look at that. We got one of the keys. Okay, let's see if that works. So the gray key should unlock the gray lock. Not that one. What if I use it on this? We did it. One lock down, 11 more locks to go. Let's check this out. So there's gotta be a lock in here, right? There's a bunch of different numbers. Can I move this? Okay, so it's one of these sort of puzzles. So I have to get this all in order. So one, two, we need to get number three up there somehow. We're gonna move over this 12. We're gonna move this over. We're gonna move this down. So the bigger numbers have to go towards the bottom. We're gonna get the 12 down there. The 15's gotta keep rotating. There we go. We'll get the 15 down there. I think 15 might be the last thing. So we'll put the 15 in the corner. We should be able to get the 14 right next to it. 13, 12 can go right on the left side. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. So how do we get the 12 to get in the corner while getting the five out of there? Okay, wait, no, ne never mind. I lied. That's not how you you're going to do it. Okay, let's figure out how to get the four up into the corner. There we go. Just like that. All right. So the, the one, two, three, and four are at the top. They're just not in the correct order whatsoever. Also, I don't know if it has to go like up and down or left and right. I'm really hoping that it's left and right. So it would go one, two, three, and then four. All right, next up, we have to figure out how to get the five up to there. Yeah, we got number five. Number six. Do I hear number seven? Yes, I do. Number eight is on the opposite side. So that's going to be a struggle to get over. Okay, we got the eight in place. It goes one, three, two, four, five, six, nine, eight. We're getting there. We were able to get the top. Now it says one, two, three, four. And we also have the five. How are we going to get the rest of it though? Okay, we have the seven in place. I have never been more confused by a puzzle in my entire life. How do you do this? Ah! <laughs> this is making my brain hurt. The music is also very insulting. It makes it sound like this game is made for children. That's probably because it is, and I still can't solve this. Aha! It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to get the, the 10 over there. Not quite. Did I do it? Yeah! Let's go! Do I get a key? Please tell me I got a flipping key. Come on. Yes! Wait. Is that a key? That is not a key. That is a rabbit foot. What do I do with the rabbit foot? We'll have to save on to that, I guess, for later. Uh, what's this? All right, we gotta do some sort of science experiment. Okay, we could change all of the colors of the different scientific bottles, but... I don't know exactly what colors to make it yet. What's inside of this chest? All right, well, that was way easier than the box of mysteries. So we have scissors. We have a rabbit's foot. Einstein on the wall does not do anything. What about inside of the fridge? Cheese. All right, we'll gladly grab some cheese or some meat. So what about inside of the drawer? The drawer's locked. What about in the freezer? Oh, wait, there's a key, but it's frozen. So we need a way to heat it up. Uh, we could probably put the key on top of the stove, right? Or maybe in the oven? Or maybe I'll put it on some hot water and then put the key inside of there? And that didn't seem to work. What if we grab this? We can fill this up with water and then the key might float to the top. What's inside of the cabinets? Uh, rocks. That one's locked, which is weird. And that one's also locked. So somehow we have to do something with the rocks. The drawer. Oh, the drawer just dropped something. It is a uh, device of sorts. Probably to open craps. Out of that cabinet, nothing. Nothing, nothing. We can't even turn on the stove. To the right over here, there's a... Uh, uh, a heating pad. There's also toys. Okay, so if I put that there, we just need to get them all in, in order, right? So put them, put that there to, to, to the middle. Oh, okay. So we could only put them on the one that's literal or, or I think smaller than it. So we could put that one there. Then we could put this one back there. This one there. That one there. That one a little bit closer. This one like this. That one goes there. Okay, we have them one over. That can go there. That can go there. This can go back there. That can go there. This can go there. Then we move this one over all the way. This one in the middle. Put the middle one there and put the top blue donut on top of there. And we completed the puzzle and got the red key. Okay, so we can take the red key back and use it to open that lock right there. Boom. I'm so sorry that you ate 12 burritos, Paul. It might be a couple more minutes until I'm able to open the bathroom. One, five, three, eight, five, two. All right, we should remember that. Oh, okay. I think I'm playing Minesweeper. Oh, no, it's not Minesweeper. Okay, so every button that I hit, it affects all of the other buttons around it. Okay, so that can go like that. That can go like that. This one might be a little bit difficult. There we go. We did it. It wasn't difficult at all. I'm just so smart. So now we can open that and get the gold key. The gold key, we can go back over here. Don't worry, Paul. Look at that. Did that uh, really? Okay, so the gold key does not open the gold lock.
That is unfortunate. I am so sorry, Paul. Maybe it opens this chest? No. We'll have to come back and check it out. Something just fell out of that pillow? It's another code. 9427. 9427. Anything inside of the bunny? Not inside of the alien. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, wait a second. I think this might be the things on the wall. See how one's black? So I think it's the first key, then the fifth one, then it's the third black one, then it's the eighth white one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then it's the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the second one. I did it. It worked. We got the green key. All right. Hopefully this one actually opens the green lock. Let's see. It did. Very nice, Paul. Don't worry. You're going to be pooping soon enough. And we also just picked up something from the edge of that. Oh, snap. Okay, so that can do something. Wait, can that turn something into a key? I think that it can. It might actually be able to make a different color key. All right, so we'll keep that there for now. Can we slice the cheese? No. Can we stab the cheese? Um, can we put the key in the refrigerator? No. What is inside of this cabinet? Another code. Check that out, guys. So it's 8563. And there's also four different colors inside of the cabinet. That is interesting. The TV doesn't seem to work. Inside of there, we could we could open an ad. Why did I click that? <laughs> so that thing completely broke my game. We're not going to click on that again. We were able to pick up the heart mug that was on the ground. And I guess, wait, we could just go in infinite circles. Hey, Paul. Anything inside of your painting? Oh, wait, we can pick these up. Interesting. So what do I do with those? This is the only other spot that I've seen a heart. So we have the heart mug, and then there is a heart magnet on the refrigerator. I don't know if they go together at all, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Also, make sure you guys are playing along with me. Comment down below how to get some of these different keys. Wait, I can place these down inside of the blender. I don't know what they are, though. Are they just like oranges? Oh, wait, we can turn on the blender. And now we have a drink. And we just, we got one of the keys from it. No way that actually worked. All right, cool. So now we got the orange key. Only six more keys left to go. We can try some of the codes on here. So one of them was 9427. No. Another one of the codes was 8563. 8563. That worked. What, okay, we got rid of another one of the locks. And this one was 9427. So if I go back here, we could do 9427. And that's another lock. Paul, you're going to be pooping soon enough. Okay, let's see. Where else can I click? Oh, we got one. I used the golden key. I just tested them on every single one, and we actually were able to get it. Can we cut this? All right, we're not able to cut that. That looks like a giant piece of plastic. Oh, I can use that. I guess like a, it was like a crowbar, and I was able to crowbar that off. Yeah, we could still slice something with our scissors. We could still use the heart mug on something. What about this? Does this do anything? Nope. Can I use this to open up any of the locks? No, I cannot. Wait, I could place stuff down on this, right? Or is it just the, maybe the mug? No, okay, so I can only place this down. I have to get all of the different colors right. Maybe these are the colors. Yellow, green, blue, and pink. We could try yellow, green, blue, and pink. Will that do anything? No, not at all. <laughs> can I slice the salami? No, I cannot slice the salami. Can I cook this? I really thought that I would be able to cook the frozen key on the hot stove, but apparently not. What if I put the mug there? Wait a second, I can fill up the mug. Now I can do something with the mug. I can pour the mug in here, maybe? Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna use the mug. We're gonna keep filling this up. I can't believe it, that worked. Oh, snap, we got the key. Okay, let's see which lock this opens. That has to be the golden one. Yes, Paul, we're one step closer to pooping. This looks like it can be cut open, so let's try it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we can head back to the start and open the pink lock. Maybe I could put the, uh, yes, I can put the frozen key on the heating system inside of the house. And that gives us the blue key, which we could use for that. Only two more keys left. All right, how do I get them? Wait, can I use the scissors over here too? I don't know if I can, but maybe I could use this on this. Nope, I need something else that's sharp. I need my scissors back. Oh, wait a second. We are opening the cans using the, uh, the can opener. I did not know that's what this was. It looked like a crab opener. Okay, there's nothing inside of those. Nothing inside of that. There has to be one key inside of this, right? This is the last can. Bop. We look at that. We got a key. And let's see. Yes. Okay. That is one of the final locks. We just need one more lock. Maybe if we put it in the same order as the lock. So we need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark navy blue, and purple. All right, let's try it out. So the first one's red, then orange, yellow, green, a lighter blue, think that's that, and then a darker blue, just like that. And then the last one should be the purple color. Will it work on the key? Yeah, we did it! That's the final one! Let's see! 
Can we open the door? Yeah. Boom, there's the toilet. We did it. We opened all the locks. Strange sounds were coming from behind the door for some time. Thanks for playing the game. It took about 28 minutes. We saved Paul. Leave a like on today's video if you were able to save Paul faster than I was. There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at beckbrojack.co. Get yours today.